If you are looking into buying cheap and safe FIFA coins, look no further than footcoinshop.net. They have the fastest service, an incredible loyalty reward system, and the best prices around. Use my creator code INCEPTION when you sign up for your account and get a 5% discount with your order. Hey guys, so if I'm like in and out when it comes to content creation, it's because of the holidays, so I'm spending a lot of time with the families and stuff, so you guys understand. Uh, that's why I didn't do like Immobile and all that kind of stuff, because I've just been having a good time, you know, having a good time. Honestly, probably the best holidays I've had in, I'm not even joking, like in a decade. Like, it's been really good. So, I've been having a good time. Life is life. So, uh, Ian Wright, we're taking a look at someone who is five foot nine, high medium work rates, five star skills, four star weak foot, explosive player while being right footed. Um, kind of looks strangely formatted by default. Let's see. Play style, he has chip shot, power shot, rapid, technical, and quick step plus. Okay, so quick step plus on the card. In-game attributes. Yeah, so I had a feeling he was strangely formatted. He looks like a card that you give an engine to by default. What is Wright's body type? Let's see here. Let's see what he looks like. So Ian Wright, his body type. So it's a card that's 600k. Average body type? Yeah, by default, I got to give him an engine. So engine would give him a 94 acceleration, 95 for sprint speed. Dribbling stats would be massively increased to be put into the mid 90s area. And then the finishing would be at an 88, 84 for shot power. You know, what's interesting is that I even mentioned this in the uh, Martinelli review, right? Because with Martinelli, I didn't like using him on like a hunter or a hawk or anything like that, right? But when I gave him an engine, he was actually very good. They should have formatted him better, to be honest. I, I'm, I'm looking at this card and it looks the same in the regards to that. But it could be a similar situation where he still might be good, right? Because Martinelli is still a good card. But the price with the lower shooting, like sometimes the inconsistencies will bother you, right? So it's weird. It's almost like they're doing that on purpose, you know? But yeah, because the only other thing that you would give this card is a finisher, right? Because you would boost the agility balance massively on the dribbling, right? Finishing is good, basically perfect, but then your pace is on the lower side. So it's like, it's strange with these cards. It's a little bit strange, but that's why I want to try them on on the engine because it might not be bad. Um, so yeah, we'll get his loan card for this. So 99 heading accuracy is interesting with a low jumping. So he, <laughs> I mean, he could maybe score a header. <laughs> he just doesn't jump that well, but he, he does them well. I don't know. It's a weird one. It's interesting for this one for sure. Um, but 88 stamina. So you can pretty much use him in any of the attacking positions. So no really big deal there pretty much. Um, like I said, an interesting for it's 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 formatted interestingly. So probably has a loan card as well. He does. So we'll just do that and uh, we'll try him out in the main attacking positions up top. See, this is why I always give engines. Like you see those little small intricacies, like right off the bat. I need that. Okay. Okay. Very nice. You know what? I'm not gonna be. I'm gonna be honest. I really thought I was gonna miss. I actually, at the very last moment, I wanted to do a shot cancel because I was like, "That's too close to the goalkeeper." Still scored it though. Still scored it. It's foul. Let's take that. Yeah, you don't want to commit that. You commit that, it's over. He'll make that run there. Have to be smart. Wait for that. Wait for that. Bam. There it is. Uh, you know why I'm able to do that? Because of Griezmann. Dude, Griezmann in the cam position, he's just got that movie mantles, bro. Oh, oh, oh I see you. Oh, yeah, we couldn't commit that. That's uh, They always wa want to watch that uh, passing angle. That almost works. Almost works. The deflections in this game do be crazy. Oh. And then we could do this. Oh, he didn't use them, man. 
I really thought he's gonna switch them because if he switches him and he and he pushes upwards, it's 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 a wrap. Like he gets through there. Oh man, the play was good though. His movement was solid there. Nice. Hey, you know what? It, it's really funny what they do with some of these cards, eh? Because in that situation right there, you can clearly see that he has proper attacking AI. And his finishing is still come out, it still comes off great. It's interesting because they they are for sure formatting these cards to be engine chemistry style players. But like like Martinelli, like you notice the shootings maybe in certain situations. But decent cards so far. It's really interesting. Oh, is he offside? Man. I'm trying to like build a play there so that Wright can get a situation there. Because he was actually doing some movie mentals that I liked. No, register. If you did it there, if you registered the, the, the cancel, I would have had the space. Oh. Because he committed that center back a certain way, right? So. Nice. He has, he has good movement. Every time I make like those small dribbles, he moves into the right spaces. Like it's it's every moment as well. To be fair, Martinelli's the same, right? And that wing position is attacking AI was proper. They do hidden stuff to these players, man. It's like I, I don't know, like it's so obvious when they like when you're using them. No, ah, oh, man. Ah, I didn't approach it like quick enough there. Oh. Oh, there's no way, man. I did a power strike. He does a side footed. That side foot animation drives me nuts, man. I hate it. It drives me crazy, guys. There's no chance you score this. Oh. <laughs> I didn't expect that. Oh, I didn't. Oh, I didn't expect that. That one dribble. It's always that average body type, man. And you gotta like. Oh, I gotta do this now. You know. Uh. Oh, red time. Then I still scored. Red time. Then I still scored. Interesting. <laughs> Uh, I mean, listen, the card feels nice so far. Oh, a double challenge there. That's unlucky. No. A finishing man because guys i'm telling you like i think a regular strike there would probably go in but again the finishing this game you got to do a a green time strike there right i didn't do a green yeah look he has a proper movement man like he understands like how to accelerate into space and stuff ah it took a while there that took a while Oh, that took so long. Oh my goodness. Come on. An easy goal there.
Oh, at least his first time pass was good. Ah. I'm going to try if I can get a Trivella strike, you know? Oh? What was this? Was that a deflection? I don't even know what that was. Yeah, he does the right angle. That that angled run he does there, that's the right one you're supposed to do. Oh, no venom. No venom. These guys gotta swipe at that shot, man. A little bit of an emphasis on that first touch. Ah. Gotta do an extra pass there, I think. Oh, I don't know what happened there. Oh. Annual goalkeeping. Do well to open up the space there. Oh, this game is something. This game is something. <laughs> Almost scored that. Very close. Nice. That angle for the Magidi cancel is always really good. Works out nicely. I did the same thing in the Martinelli review too, actually. Wow. Wow. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say, wow. Oh, okay. He did, he did a tap shot here, I think, right? That's what it was? Yeah, a tap shot. We'll take it, though. This game is being choppy, eh? This, they still have this issue in this game. It's so weird. Oh, oh. Oh, and it registers just something random there. I don't even know what's happening. Yeah, I'll take that. You guys see the it being choppy? It's I don't know what's happening. It's just chopping. See right there. Nice. Ball roll. And we don't hit the Trivella. I think higher finishing, maybe, you know? Yeah, he adapted. I try to get like a Ronaldo chop to get the pass off to him. Ah, yeah, he still got it. Yeah, I should have done a different skill move there. Probably shouldn't have gone backwards. Hmm, could have let that for the goalkeeper, but I think it's pretty random. Theo with the it factor, huh? Nice. 
have to make sure I hit that green there. Stuff. Okay. Red timed again, and I still score. Ugh. Finesse shots from a distance is not really something that I would do with him. Like, I think Trivella sometimes, for sure, but... Finesse shots not as much. Okay, guys. So, final verdict on the Ian Wright card. So... You know, I'm going to be honest, like, I've, t I've told you guys this for, like, many of the Icon videos uh, during the Winter Wild cards. Like, some of these cards, they're really cool to use, but I don't know, like, the, I don't understand, like, the pricing of it. Um, the gameplay guys that bring out these cards, they're a bunch of weirdos, I'm going to be honest with you. Because the card is cool, right? I'm going to be honest, it might be the best version of Ian Wright we've ever had in FIFA, to be honest with you guys. I'm not even joking when I say this, because this card's actually pretty decent. It's not a bad card whatsoever. Um, you know, you give him the engine chemistry style, in my opinion, because left stick-wise, you got to improve the dribbling so that you can work with the five-star skill moves more. I felt the same way with Martinelli, right? But this card, when his pace was around the mid-90s area, the dribbling was in the mid-90s area, and then the passing was improved, right? Because obviously long passing is not a great area, but the short passing and stuff is. It's pretty decent to work with. But the thing is, is that the card needs a finishing boost for consistency, right? Because you guys can see that there was certain moments where I would red time a strike and then he would miss it. And then I would, you know, white time a strike that seems more high percentage. And then he would, he would, like, he would miss it. It's random. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's really, really random. But you know, I always say the cutoff in this game, you guys can hear this in every single review, it's always mid-90s for finishing that I like it to be at. And I feel like base card stats-wise, if they put him to a mid-90s for finishing, but these are the boosts that I give the card, then it would be cool, right? Guys, for this promo, you have to understand, like, the price you're paying for these guys, like, don't get me wrong, they're releasing these SBCs where you collect fodder, but... You got to spend a lot of time in the menu to grind the fodder to get some of these cards, right? You, you just do. You have to. And I think they understand that some people literally spend all day. I think they definitely do. Because, guys, listen, it's like Martinelli. Well, I wouldn't say it's like Martinelli because Martinelli, there's one key thing here that adds a difference to the card, and it's the lean body type, right? So the responsive part of it when you give him an engine is really nice. Like I mentioned to you guys, when I gave him the engine, I actually really enjoyed using this card. Sure, the shooting's on the lower side. But he's got good attacking AI, feels very quick, skill moves come out very nicely. There's always an inconsistency when it comes to the average body type. It's usually going to be the case, right? But guys, I'm being nitpicky because of the price, because this card's actually decent in game. I actually liked using him probably the first time I've ever liked using him because utilizing five-star skill moves to score your opportunities, the attacking AI was actually very, very solid. I liked using the attacking AI on this card for sure. But um the pricing is just crazy, I think. I don't know. I don't know what's up with them. Well, not what's up with them because they've been doing that a lot this year. I don't know. They got to make their money ever since they lost that FIFA license or something. I couldn't tell you, but um, they're cool cards. Like for me personally, with how left stick dribbling is in this game, like I just feel the need to give him a dribbling boost because it just feels more responsive, right? It, you have more fun when you can actually move a, a certain way, right? But yeah, the attacking AI part, that was the surprising part for me. I was like, I didn't expect it to be that responsive and good on a consistent level it was really really solid to work with i definitely liked it a lot so yeah it's a shame i have to give him an engine for on a personal level because of the lower finishing but the card's decent it is right so if any of you guys um you know are arsenal fans you're building some sort of like past and present squad like you can actually work with this card i'm telling you like i think um i think nep for instance like if he wants to do any sort of like thing with him then he would actually work well. Like, it's it's a card that will play well in the meta of the game. The only thing that's going to be inconsistent is the finishing. It's going to be weird. That's what it's going to be with him. Because I, I scored, like, two red time strikes with him, you know? So, but, um, yeah. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video today. I'm going to go work on the evolution video. So, I'll see you guys soon. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.